What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Play Dr. Gaming here, back with another video for y'all today. And today I'm gonna be discussing the Modern Warfare 2 beta. I play a lot of the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and my opinion on the game is very mixed because I think Modern Warfare 2 is a very, very mid game. I don't think the game is bad, like some people make it out to be. I think it's okay for a Call of Duty game in 2022. But I just had me some very, very real issues with the game. The game got potential, got plenty of potential, but I just think there's just some stuff that ironed out for this game to be at least great. So I don't give my opinion on the beta so far. I play a good amount of it. I play for like two days. So I should know a little bit something about the beta. Like I ain't just going off just from like six hours of gameplay or something. I like play like religiously would take two days. So yeah, I'm gonna get in the um problems. Then I'm gonna give you solution how they could fix it. Cause like I said, I think so far the game is all right for what it is. But I think this game can be way better if they just fix some of the following issues. And I'm gonna discuss one of the issues right now. One of my issues with the Modern Warfare 2 beta is the visibility. The visibility in Modern Warfare 2 is not the best, cause People can easily blend in with the environment. They've been plenty of time where I was like staring dead at a dude, but I didn't know he was right there because he just blend in so perfectly with the stages. And how the characters in this game are all like great. They either wear like great costume where they on like some kind of great part of map because the game is not really that colorful. So you really can't see who's in a corner just camping if they're just like a corner because the person, the, the, the character blend is so good with the environment that you don't know, they were even right there. There been plenty of death I had, it was that I just couldn't see him. It wasn't like I couldn't kill him, it just that I couldn't see him, I didn't know he was right there, cause he just blend in so great with the environment. And it doesn't help that Modern Warfare 2 decided to take out nameplates. Like even Modern, the regular Modern Warfare 2019, you can say you couldn't really see enemy in that game, but at least the nameplate helped out a little bit. But in Modern Warfare 2, they're not even nameplates where you can actually see where people at. Even I think I think Black Ops Cold War did, did it better because Lee Cold War had a health bar in a nameplate and a little dot on the top of it as well to indicate there was an enemy right there. So Black Ops. Cold War gave you plenty of opportunity to figure out what was the enemy, what's not the enemy. And plus, Black Ops Cold War had attachment that even helped you saw the enemy from farther distance. So Modern Warfare 2 really needs some of those attachment because you can't see nobody. I mean, people just blend in the way with the background in this game and I just cannot stand it. Even turning up the brightness doesn't help because you still can't see them. Like ain't, ain't the brightness issue that they, they blend in so great with the environment that you cannot even see where where they're at. Like you can be staring dead at them, but you wouldn't know that because they blend in with the wall. They blend in with the stages. Like why you think like why you think other games have it where they had the characters like in different color outfits and stuff because it helped you see them. In a game like this, you need to see where your enemies at. And when they all blend in with the stage, that's a huge problem. And I hope they fix that before the young game comes out. In time to discuss, and also speaking of which, they need to have uh, factions. They had to have faction. Because here's the thing, since every single character looked the same, you won't, you sometimes be shooting at your teammate. You, I won't tell you how many times in this beta or how many times my teammate shot me and I shot my teammate it, because we didn't know who we were. We all looked the same. Like you really couldn't tell your teammate from the enemy because y'all all the same. Y'all all look like, y'all all look alike. Now with free for all, it wouldn't be a problem because everybody's your enemy in free for all. But game modes like team deathmatch, domination, and hard point, everybody looks the same. So you end up shooting your teammate because you could you think they're on your side. And don't get and I had plenty I had some instant where I actually ran past the enemy thinking they're my teammate. So yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 really need really need to distinguish the teams a little bit. Like have one universal uniform for all the team members. Like the operators are cool and all, but the operators need to be wearing the same color uniform because it, it is impossible to tell who's on your side and who's on the enemy side. Like like I say, my teammate shot at me and I shot at my teammate and that happened 
countless times in the beta because like I said we couldn't distinguish who was on my team and who wasn't on my who was on my team who wasn't on, wasn't so that's gonna be a huge problem when the game comes out with the enemy blending with the background and your teammate looking the same it doesn't help because this game is so so grayish and you really can't see too you really can't see too much like I hope they bring back the hell bar because leave with the hell bar you could realize oh that, that that's a red hell bar so that's on my team that dude not on my team so I just shoot him and plus it hit with the uh, enemy blending with the background and keep the name plates too so that's one of my issues with this game is that you can you can't see who you shooting at and plus when you do see sometimes it can be your enemy you can sometimes give you an ally you shooting at because all the characters look the same. Like they all wearing the same uniform. My next issue with the game, I ain't gonna go in too far detail cause everybody already discussed this issue with the game is the skill based matchmaking. Look, I wouldn't mind the skill based matchmaking if the following issues were addressed. Namely, the first one was that you really can't see who's on your side and put the enemy blend in with the background. That won't help with the skill based matchmaking system. For all I want for skill based matchmaking is that I just want them to tone it down or just get rid of it. Like, I don't like sweating every single game, but if I had to sweat every single game, please make it so where I can see my enemies better. They're all gonna say about the skill based matchmaking segment because. Everybody already talked about it, and I just don't want to repeat what everybody else is saying. So, yeah. Just fix the skill based matchmaking. If you don't decide to fix it, just fix it where I can actually see who's on my side and the enemy blend in the background. So, on to the next issue. Another thing I don't like about this game is the way they decide how you unlock weapon. One thing in Modern Warfare 2 I found out quickly was that, well, not quickly, it took like a, a day to figure out, but. The only way you got a lock weapon is the game actually forces you to play with uh, with others weapon, other weapon, which I'm really not a fan of the man with you because here's the thing. If a weapon is crap, you gotta have play with that crap weapon until you unlock the next weapon. So basically, imagine this, imagine you get two crap weapons in a row, you gotta play with to unlock the third weapon, which is good or decent. The game is basically force you to play with stuff you don't wanna play with. To unlock other stuff, which I don't think they're very awesome. I think Modern Warfare, Cold War, and Vanguard did it better. Where you just play with one weapon and you unlock the other one as you go. I think that's more awful than making you play with other weapons that you don't want to. And again, it wouldn't be too bad if there was not skill based matchmaking. Like, if you're gonna have like complex stuff in your game, you need to lower the skill based matchmaking because, let's say, for instance, Let's say the only way you can be able to compete if you like got all the best attachments and stuff. If you don't got all the best equipment or attachment, you know where you can compete. Compete. You need to have everything to order to compete in Call of Duty because the skill based matchmaking is so thick that if you don't got at least a decent setup, you'll get railed through. And this system is more of a casual system where the game wants you to try everything before you move on to like the meta weapon, which it doesn't work in a competitive environment. If you gotta be competitive, you gotta have everything right then and there. Because in order to be competitive, then you gotta have all the best stuff. So you can't have a casual system with a competitive environment. So I think they need to really reconsider of how you unlock weapons. Like, just go back to the old way of unlocking weapons. Just get it to leveling up. Don't force the player to play with stuff they don't like. Like, people, people hate when you railroad them to a specific way. Especially in a video game like this, like Call of Duty, where creating a weapon is a vital part of the Call of Duty experience. And playing with one you don't want to play with, just ruins the game because you is it is railroading you to play a specific way, even though you don't want to play that way. Which I can see that can be very frustrating. I don't too much joy about Modern Warfare 2 is the perk system. One thing about the perk system is that you don't get your third you don't get your third perk, which also call your ultimate perk to like almost like the end of the game. They need to increase the rate of how fast you can earn a third perk. Or need to get rid of it. I'd rather them to get rid of it because I think the three perk system was fine. I don't think nobody was even complaining about the three perk system. Like I think the three perk system was okay. Like what was wrong with the three perk system? So I don't see how, I don't see why they need the. I don't know why they had to feel the urge to add in this mechanic where you don't get your third perk until like almost the end of the game. 
I don't know what the reason for that was because I thought three perk system was all right. Like, I don't feel, I, I didn't feel like the perk was unbalanced. Like, at the end of the day, the perks really don't matter. They matter like a small extent to the matches, but not all that. Because the perks really didn't make a break a gun fight. Your skill kind of did in your attack when you're rolling with the guns. So the perk system, I don't know why they removed the perk, the third perk into like this timer base mechanic. But I don't think there was like an issue with the perk system. Like you can have the most old power perk, but if you ain't good in gunfights, I don't think that really would make a difference. Like I don't think perks made it make a break a match. It kind of helped you. So I don't understand why they removed the third perk system because it did kind of it did kind of it did kind of didn't matter if you had that third perk or not because like I said, if you suck that gun fighting, you will just suck at the game. So yeah, the third perk system I'm not too big of a fan of. They should just let you keep your third perk. But if they have to put this perk mechanic in the game. They need to make it big. They need to make it faster so you can earn like halfway through the match or one third of the match. You get your third perk because by the time you get your third perk, the match is about over with. So yeah, I don't see why they had to add the third perk system in here. But yeah, they need to fix the duration of it or they just need to remove it entirely. Even though it has some major criticism of the game, but one thing I can say about Modern Warfare 2 is that I do like the gunplay. I think that's why everybody keep on returning to Call of Duty at some point because Call of Duty just got some good, fun gunplay, which I think Modern Warfare 2 has for the most part. If they can fix the previous issues that I had with the game, I think the I think the gunplay will benefit way more from it. So yeah, I think the kill streaks are also fine as well. Like if you can get them, cause skill based matchmaking do really make it hard sometimes to get the kill streak because. You got people camping in corners, like I said, blending with the background. And sometimes, even when they like on the floor prone, since since the since they can blend in real well with the background, sometimes you won't even see them there. And another thing too, they just fix the um, like I said, faction problem where your teammate and your enemy team look the same. I feel like that also helped this the help the gunplay in this game overall. So yeah. This game do got some stuff going for it. I think the kill streak and gunplay is phenomenal. Like, they can fix those few couple of things. I think they'd be better. And also, they need to fix the UI. I don't like the UI. The UI, they need to go back to that, the old basic UI they had in the three previous game. I think this UI just, I think this, I think the change to UI is just unnecessary. They need to go back because sometimes the UI can get confusing. So yeah, they fixed the couple of issues I had with the game and just fixed the UI and fixed the visibility and fixed the skill based matchmaking. I feel like the game can be better and also fix the uh, class, the class setup, the class, how you earn guns in the game. They fixed that. I think it'd be good too. So yeah, if they can fix those issues, I think Modern Warfare 2 can be a good game. Like, yeah, that's my, that's my experience with the Modern Warfare 2 beta. I hope the game turns out great. Like I'm probably not gonna get it day one. Probably gonna wait till I go on sale. Cause I honestly don't think this game worth no seventy bucks. Like for the meantime, I'm probably playing. I'm probably playing um Overwatch two, which I think don't crucify me from this. I think Overwatch of out of two out of two games. I think Overwatch two is better than Call of Duty Modern Warfare two. Even though these games are like two separate games, I already know that for y'all. You can come to comment sections. I already know that Modern Warfare two, Overwatch two is two different types of game. But I think the better overall game in comparison is gonna be Overwatch two. Not because I'm a Blizzard fanboy. Is it because I can actually see people in Overwatch two? <laughs> That's one of my biggest pet peeves in, in a video game, any video game that I can't see enemies. Like, dude, like I said, they can blend in. Oh, why too? At least you don't got a character blend in the background. But if they can fit that in Call of Duty as well, I think that'd be an overall decent game. So, yeah, I ain't blind hating on Call of Duty. I don't think Modern Warfare 2 is going to be a failure. I think it's going to be okay. So, yeah, I'm just trying to stay neutral. I ain't trying to say this game going to complete, completely fail because it's going to be a lie. But I also, ain't, I also don't think the game completely good either. So I think this game is just mid at best. 
So yeah, that's my opinion on the Modern Warfare 2 beta. It's been alright so far. I'm probably gonna play a couple more matches before I get tired of beta and just move on to another game or back to Apex Legend because I've been playing a lot of Apex Legend lately. So yeah, I'm gonna probably play a couple more Modern Warfare 2 beta games. And yeah, I'm probably gonna call it with a beta. I think the beta is alright for what it is. But I feel like if you get, the, get your hand like on the full game or something, I feel like it's going to be a little more better than the beta. So yeah, they can fix the following issues I had with the game. I think the game will be good for the most part. So anyway, it's been Mr. Play Doctor with another video. See y'all next time. Peace.